Hi everyone, okay so today is going to be a little bit of a different video, um, I'm going to be kind of putting a couple things into one video, um, so yeah, so it's going to be a haul, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my makeup as well as talking about books. Um, the easiest thing I think the thing I'm going to start with is my makeup, so today I got my makeup done by Ashley, Ashley Hodgins, she's one of the girls that works with me at Sephora, and a little while ago, I don't know if y'all remember this, but I did uh, show a different makeup that got done by another girl that I worked with, Tiffany. So this is gonna, I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more of a usual thing and less sporadic, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so this is the makeup I got done. So really nice um, day glam kind of look. It has some sparkly uh, gold in the center as well as some dark smoking out to the, at the edges. Um, and I tried on lashes, which I don't usually wear lashes very often, um, and these are Celebrity from Sephora Collection, and very weird to get used to, definitely not something that I'm going to be doing every day, but I think it is fun to try out sometimes, and these ones feel very nice. Um, yeah, so I would recommend getting these if you're new to lashes and want to try something on, Celebrity are really nice, they give just like have a brightness and a wideness to your eyes without being too heavy and weighed down. Um, but yeah, this is the makeup look that I got done by her. Very nice, very happy with it, looks very good. Um, but yeah, so that is that. And since we are talking about makeup, I'll talk about the couple things that I got while I was at Sephora. So I've already talked about the lashes, and then I also got the lip color that I'm wearing right now. So this is from Sephora Collection, and it's number 22, and I'm pretty sure it's called Burgundy Spirit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Very peculiar name, but I really like it. And these guys are fabulous lip products. I don't, I think they're very underrated and I think they need a lot more love. They kind of go on really creamy and almost like soft and like too creamy feeling. Like you'd think that it transfer, but it dries down. And it goes to this really nice matte that's not too drying on the lips. It still does have that creaminess, but doesn't transfer. It's not very much. Yeah, not very much at all, like really nice and they don't move and I have really a lot of trouble with lip products staying on my lips and I find that this stuff doesn't budge once it's there. Um, as well as like even swatching on my hand, like it is, it's there even if I like alcohol trying to take it off or like makeup remover, oil, like everything just, I mean it will eventually come off but it's a lot harder to come off than a lot of the other lipsticks so I do recommend anything from this collection. They're the ones with like kind of the skinnier lids and the... Yeah, they're just skinnier out of the lipsticks, but they work really nice. I, call, I think they're called like creamy lip stains or something like that, um, along that lines. But anyways, there's lots of colors. Definitely would recommend them. Um, and then I also got this guy. So this is Laura Mercier uh, Smooth Finish Foundation Powder, and these are my favorite powders pretty much in all of Sephora. Um, I think I've never found somebody that I didn't like how it looked on them. Um, and I got number two, and the reason I got number two, you're like, Probably thinking like, whoa, that's a little bit light for you. You don't need that light. Um, I got it for mainly just setting where a highlight usually. Um, in my Anastasia Contour palette, I've ran out of both my highlight colors. So I grabbed this in a little bit of a lighter shade to set in those areas under my eyes, T-zone, kind of chin area. Um, I have a little bit of it on right now even. And I just really like the look of that. Um, and I think it just blends so nicely. I'm trying to debate if I want to get number 13, which is a beautiful contour color. Um, but I'm still trying to decide on that. Um, link below, comment below if you think that I should get it. Um, yeah, um, and then that's all that I got from Sephora. I also went to Winners and I got two food items. Um, I don't know if y'all think this is interesting, but I thought it was interesting. So first thing I got was from Jamie Oliver and it's called Spice Cowboy Seasoning. It was only $1.50, so that's pretty much why I got it, and it's a smoky, delicious kind of flavoring to put on meats and stuff like that. Um, I'm always looking for ways to kind of spice up meat and vegetables and add more seasoning to it, so I thought that'd be a really fun thing to add to my spice collection. Um, the other thing I got from um, Winners is this guy, and it's Organic Hemp Protein. Um, and this one has like extra fiber in it. Um, I got this one because I'm looking for new protein powders, but I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for like more whey or um, soy or uh, hemp protein. Um, so this is just was only $12 and I figured it'd be a good kind of thing to see if I like the taste of hemp protein as well as I like that it's organic and figures since it was a small container I could try it out and kind of ease my way into proteins. So I got that guy and then the last kind of thing that I bought today is this book and it is called Wither and it's by Stephanie DiStefano. 
Um, and I read, read a previous book by her and it's called Perfect Ruin and I absolutely loved it. So I found out that she had more to more books that she's written before. Um, I decided to start trying to read some of them. This is the other collection that she's quite popular for and it's the Chemical Garden Trilogy. Um, the back sounds very interesting. So the book is in the distant future and it's very um, about like genetic engineering and modification of different people and males are only living to 25 and women to 20 and they're being kidnapped and like sold and that kind of thing so it's very interesting um, I'm really excited to try it out and it has three books in the series so I'm gonna start with this guy I don't like to commit and buy a full series just in case I don't like it I mean there's a high probability since I love Perfect Ruins so much that I'm also gonna love this guy but still they also know how the rest of the series but yeah so that is something I am going to be reading, but I'm going to also talk about things that I have read before as well as what I'm currently reading right now. So I don't really know how I'm going to be setting this up in the future tense, but I figured I can start now and see how it goes from there. So I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do a monthly thing or how often I'm going to be doing this, but I'm going to kind of keep track of the books I've, I've read and also kind of have a list of books I'm going to read. Um, that's how I've seen some other people do it and I think that's a very interesting way of doing it. Um, so a book that I've read pre recently, I was I didn't want to go all the way back to like months and months that I've read before, so this is just the last book that I've read. Um, so this is called Cloaked. Um, funnily enough, when I first grabbed this book I thought it was called Croaked um, and it's all about like the frog prince and stuff like that. Funny enough, it still makes sense. It is about the frog prince, but it's called Cloaked instead of Croaked, which I thought was hilarious of myself to be so silly, but it still so, works so perfectly. Um, but anyway, so this is by Alex Flynn, and Alex Flynn is, by the same, is the same author of Beastly, and Beastly was a movie. The book was definitely better than the movie. The movie, I mean, the movie was okay, but the book was definitely better. Um, and I, this is the third book that I've read from the author, and I think I have another one on my bookshelf. Um, I just really like it. I like the twist that she puts on um, classic fairy tales and this one was very cool because she used a bunch of different unknown books like stories and put it all together so in the back she even had let me find it um, different like had little parts about different all the different books that she used in it so in this book it had stories from the elves and the shoemaker the frog prince six swans the golden bird Valiant Taylor, the salad, fisherman and his wife, and fisherman and his wife. Um, so a bunch of those I had never heard about. So it was really cool getting like a little snippet and kind of idea of what the book, the stories would be like if I was to go and read some of the fairy tales. Um, and I just love kind of how she does it, how she puts her own little spin on them, um, ways that I would never have thought you could have put a spin on it, like in Towering, which is all about Rapunzel. It's like all about like this drug lord and him like taking people and then working for to produce this drug and like she was like ah uh, it was very confusing but it was very good and it was about drugs and hair growing and very cool but so i really do like the offer and i'd recommend anything from her um they're very easy read though so if you're looking for something really kind of like serious this isn't the book but none of the books i'm going to be recommending to you are serious reads I'm very much into the young adult, young adult, new adult kind of genre. Um, I, when I read, I'm usually walking, like legit walking. Um, a lot of people think I'm weird for doing that, but I just find it really easy and takes my mind off like having to walk to work. Um, as well as when I'm taking transit and buses, so I can't be super like concentrating and getting thinking too much because when I'm on the bus I get motion sickness if I'm concentrating too much so I really like a light read that I can just kind of have pay attention to but still really understand and get what's going on in the story um, it's not something that I have to try and figure out what certain words mean or anything like that so I like really light reads and then the book that I'm reading now is this one Cruel Beauty um, I'm going to take it off because it's now my way um, it's called Cruel Beauty the cover is really pretty um, the cover is really pretty and it's by Rosemond Hodge. 
Um, and I actually got this book idea from Elle, Flau Elle Fowler or All That Glitters 21. Um, she did a book review in one of her glitter gossips um, or glittertures. That's what she calls them, glitter gl glittertures. And I thought it was really interesting, so I went and I saw it on sale at uh, Mosaic Books. I went and bought it, and I've been really enjoying it. I'm almost done it. Um, that's the top, that's the bottom. And so far, it's really good. It was a very good recommendation. I'm glad that I had heard it from her. I'm not going to talk too much about this book because Elle does a very good description of it and talking about it in her um, video. So I'm going to actually just kind of link the video here um, on the book so you can just click it um, and listen to her. She talks, she does a very good job of explaining it. I tried explaining it, but I edited it all because it sounded terrible. So please link on her and watch her video. Um, but yeah, very good book so far. I'm excited to finish it. I might even do it tonight just because. Why not? I can do that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for today. Hopefully this video was a little bit in order um, and you kind of understood it and hopefully um, I can kind of figure out a better way to talk about books and have that also incorporated into my videos because I am a huge book reader and I really enjoy watching other people and I get great recommendations so I love to be that same kind of person for you guys as well and give some great recommendations for some wonderful books. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share this, really would enjoy the love and all that kind of stuff so I'll talk some time since my last video and I have been trying. I've been trying to kind of get a video up. I've filmed two of them, but I just have not been happy with the results recently.